LOCAL CHAPTER OF BLACK LIVES MATTER CAME TOGETHER TO RALLY AND SHOW SUPPORT FOR THE FAMILY OF TAMIR RICE. THE 12-YEAR-OLD RICE WAS SHOT BY CLEVELAND POLICE AFTER HE WAS SPOTTED WITH WHAT TURNED OUT TO BE A TOY GUN IN A PARK. WLWT NEWS 5'S JANELLE WALTON LIVE FOR US TONIGHT AT WASHINGTON PARK WHERE THE RALLY WRAPPED UP JUST A SHORT TIME AGO. JANELLE? And Curtis, members of Black Lives Matter Cincinnati chapter, they actually came out to show support for Tamir Rice's family. There was a group of about 60 to 65 people out here um, tonight wanting to show their support. Now, the rally actually started outside of the Hamilton County Courthouse this afternoon, and those in the crowd say they weren't going to let the rain stop them from showing support for Rice's family on the one year anniversary of his death. Rice's family is asking for officers to go to trial for that fatal shooting. They also want to see the head prosecutor on the case removed. Now, supporters here believe accountability is key to bringing about change that they're seeking. We want people to know that uh, if we want our policing relationship to change the communities of color, then we have to hold officers accountable for their actions. So we're calling for accountability today. And as I mentioned, the rally did start at the Hamilton County Courthouse. It ended here at Washington Park just a short time ago. And members of Black Lives Matter Cincinnati, as well as their supporters, say they're going to continue to hold these rallies until they feel like the justice that they are seeking actually takes place. Janelle Walton, WLWT News 5. All right. Thanks a lot, Janelle. The Rice family has filed a lawsuit against the Cleveland Police Department. Tamir's mother is scheduled to testify before a grand jury next week.